Your Connect Guru here, ready to move on to part two of our four-part series on using audio in a Connect meeting room. In part one of this series, we discussed how to set up audio providers and audio profiles on the Connect server. Now let's talk about how to start sharing audio in your Connect meeting room and how to use the computer microphone to broadcast audio. I'll create a new meeting room and scroll down to the audio conference section. Here in the middle option, as you'll recall, you'll see the drop-down menu that will let you choose one of the audio profiles that you've already set up. We're going to take a look at both types, integrated audio and universal voice, and see how they differ inside the meeting room. First, I'm going to talk about computer audio, but then we'll check out the integrated audio option. So I'll make that selection here. And I'll name the meeting room integrated audio test. I'll click the Finish button and click the URL to enter the meeting room. Inside the Connect meeting room, there are two sets of controls for audio. The first is for the host. It's the audio menu, which may have different options depending on whether you set up the meeting room to use one of the telephony options or just the computer microphone. The other set of audio controls is for all of the attendees, including hosts and presenters, and will be displayed in the application bar as either a microphone icon or a telephone icon with its accompanying menu. Participants typically won't see this option unless audio is turned on and they've been given rights to use the microphone. To use your computer microphone for audio and allow others to do so as well, you as a host will have to start your meeting audio first by going to the audio menu and selecting start meeting audio you'll see the Start Meeting Audio dialog box. If the meeting room was set up to use a conference bridge and attendees are already connected to the phone conference, the meeting audio will already be started using the default settings. If that's the case, each attendee will see the Join Audio Conference dialog box. You can also display the Join Audio Conference dialog box at any time by using the menu that is associated with the audio icon at the top of the room. But if the Join Audio Conference dialog box shows the Using Computer option as being disabled, you'll need to go back to the Audio menu and select Change Meeting Audio Mode to change the settings. The top half of the dialog box is all about broadcasting audio via your computer microphone. If you do want attendees to be able to use their computer mic for audio, and that includes hosts and presenters, check the first checkbox. If you also want to give everyone the right to do that by default, check the second checkbox. Even though the meeting room is configured to use the phone conference, you can turn that functionality on or off by checking or unchecking this first checkbox in the bottom section. I'm going to turn the phone conference option off so we can see what it looks like in the meeting room if we're only using computer audio. Let's move on by clicking the start button. Note that since I'm a host, I have the option at the top of the meeting room to connect my audio by either using the menu by the audio icon or clicking on the icon itself. However, if we look at the participants view of the meeting room, notice that they don't have the audio icon at the top of the meeting room. In order to give a participant the right to broadcast audio using their computer microphone, the host will need to go to the attendees pod Hover the cursor over the attendee's name and select Enable Audio. Now, if we return to the participants view, we'll see that not only do they see the audio icon at the top of the meeting room, but they're also seeing a message that tells them that they can now speak with a link to Speak Now, which starts their microphone. Going back to the host view, we can see a microphone icon next to the participant's name, indicating that the participant has microphone rights. To revoke those rights, we simply need to hover the cursor over the participant's name again and select Disable Audio. So that's what it looks like when you elect to use only computer audio. But what if you want to use computer audio in combination with a phone conference? I'll go back to the Audio menu to Stop Meeting Audio and again 
to start meeting audio. This time, I'll leave the using phone option checked, but uncheck the start broadcasting telephony audio option and click the start button. Notice that as a host, I'm seeing the join audio conference dialog box. I can use this dialog box to determine how I'm going to connect to the audio conference. We'll talk about the first two options in part three. For now, I want to focus on the using computers option. This is what I select when I want to use my computer microphone to broadcast my audio. Let's take a look at what the participant sees. Notice that the using computer option is disabled. That's because by default, participants don't have rights to use their computer microphone to broadcast audio. So really, the participant can connect via one of the phone conference options or just click cancel here and wait for the host to give them rights to speak. At any rate, when you do opt to use your computer mic, whether it's by checking using computer in the join audio conference dialog box or by clicking the audio icon at the top of the meeting room, the very first time in each meeting session, you'll be prompted to allow connect to use your camera and microphone. Go ahead and click the allow button. At this point, your microphone will be turned on and you will be broadcasting your audio for all in the meeting to hear. The green microphone icon at the top of the meeting room is your clue that your mic is turned on. If it's white, it's off. In fact, it might even turn into a white telephone receiver icon. If you speak, you should see the microphone icon animate as it picks up your voice. If you don't see any animation, you need to disconnect your audio by using the menu next to the microphone icon and selecting Disconnect My Microphone. Then from the Meeting menu, select the Audio Setup Wizard. You just need to follow the steps in the Audio Setup Wizard. Click Next to go to Step 1. Click the Play Sound button to make sure you can hear sound from your speakers or headphones. If you don't hear anything, you'll have to try to reconfigure the sound output on your computer. Unfortunately, I can't address all the possible options on every kind of computer in this video, so if you don't know what to do, find an expert to help you out or try to find the answer on the internet. Click Next to go to Step 2. Here, you'll select the microphone you want Connect to use. Click Next to go to Step 3. Test your microphone by clicking the Record button and speaking into the microphone. You should see a blue sound meter bar moving up and down as you speak. That means the mic is picking up your voice. Click Next to go to step four. This step is all about setting a noise filter level. Unless the level of volume exceeds the level you set here, your microphone will not activate. Unless you're in a controlled environment where no one is slamming doors, talking, playing music, or engaging in any other noise-making activity, I recommend you skip this step. If you've already run the test silence step before and are getting skippy audio, run it again and make sure there are no loud background noises beyond an air conditioner or a fan. The object of this step is to make sure you don't broadcast the normal background noise into the meeting room. And then click finish. Now go to the microphone icon, which might be a telephone receiver icon, and in the associated menu, select connect my audio. Then select the last option, using computer. The microphone will be turned on and should animate when you speak. If you still don't get audio from your microphone, you may need to check the microphone configuration on your computer and also make sure it's not being co-opted by another program, like Skype. Some microphones also have a switch on the cord to mute the mic, so check that as well. Once you have it working, you'll also see a microphone icon next to your name in the attendees pod whenever your audio is being broadcast. If you need to mute yourself, just click on the microphone icon at the top. And it will change to a microphone with a diagonal green line through it to indicate that it's currently not broadcasting. Okay, let's leave the computer microphone behind for now and get back to talking about our telephone conference bridge in part three of our series.